Okay, so I have two poles over there, three big of my steps in between, two poles over here, three steps. So first I had them, her canner just over those two a bunch of times, and then I had her canner just over these two a bunch of times. Now I'm trying to get her to canter all the way around the arena to the right. So we already did left. So I'm holding the camera, so hopefully I'll be able to get video, but keep her out, it's hard. Easy, I want her to walk in. Canner, good girl, easy. Now she's gotta stay out, easy. Good girl, whoop. And every time she does it right, or pretty decent, I give her a cookie. The reason I'm doing it this way, she, you know, she's getting good canter steps, but when she gets here and around, she gets fast and she cuts way in. So I'm trying to get her to know that something else is coming up. So she needs to back herself off right here, slow down so she can get over those poles. You know, it depends on your talent of the horse and how smart they are, how fast you go. Easy, canter, so wrong lead. Easy, so now I just wanna keep her out. Canner, good girl. She didn't really go over the poles, but that's okay. Nope, so that wasn't good. She came into it wrong. No, easy. So I don't care if she misses those right now. Easy. No, nope. see, and she's like, is that good enough? I'm like, nope. <clears throat> so I want her to keep going the same direction. Easy. Canner, good girl. Stay out, this sticks out in front of me. See, she's slow. Canner. Good girl. So that's a good one to end with because she did really well. She um, picked up good canter steps. She slowed herself down and she backed off and she got the correct lead. But it took us a little while to get there, okay? So we've been practicing this. And uh, I want her to know every time I say that word canter, it means she's supposed to keep cantering also. Because a lot of times you get on their back and you start going over these poles and right after the second pole, they quit. So you gotta make sure that they keep cantering. So I always like to do everything on the ground first to make sure they have some kind of concept. And then I do it under saddle and it's much easier. Hi, Gay Drusa with Majestic Rider. So I got a microphone, but it's not working. Great, right? Thank you, Amazon. So anyhow, we'll try to get another one, but I'm gonna stay close so you can hear me. So today I'm doing an exercise with two poles on each side of the arena. Over here, you won't see much, so I'll just cut that out. But I have two poles on the other side of the arena over by uh, Mr. Nichols. And there's three of my steps in there, which I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I take three big steps and that gives you one horse stride. And each horse is a little different. So sometimes you got to move it out. Sometimes you got to move it in. You just got to see how the horse does. The whole object of me putting two poles out there is I'm trying to help the horses with their canter. And what I'm trying to do is get them to jump over the pole and then their back feet are hit the ground and they're going to jump back out. So I want them to do this. We're trying to get that rocking horse canter. Mr. Nichols already canters pretty well, but I want to show you the exercise with him because I just did it with Tilly and I didn't do any uh, instructions about it so much. So this will help you to kind of see. Now his stride is a little bit shorter than Tilly. So once I see him go over the poles, I might have to roll it in a little bit. We'll see. How do you know if the poles are too far away? If the horse keeps leaping way out like that. If the horse keeps stepping on the poles, then they're usually too close or landing on the poles. But if the horse is like reaching you can tell they're not making it over the pole so well and they're really trying to throw themselves that's not going to help you so you need to roll the poles in more maybe two and a half steps so let me show you what i'm talking about with my steps You gotta make sure you don't just start with two poles, you start with one pole. And when the horse can do that well and understands the word canter and all of that, then you can go up to two poles. And in the beginning, I just make them canter the one side and not all the way around the arena. And then once they can do that well, then I might make them go all the way around the arena. But you're trying to make sure the horse figures it out and not scare it. You don't want them to rush it. That's not the whole point. You want them to relax, rock back on their hocks and kind of leap over the poles. Okay, so I'm going to say the word canter and ask you to canter over it. Canter. So nothing happened, no big deal. Canter. That time he got the wrong lead. Canter. Oh boy. 
So all I'm doing now is giving him a little treat so he has some motivation to work himself because he's a little on the lazy side. And then we're going to do the other direction. So some of the time he did it well, some of the time he either didn't canter over it or he trotted over it or he cantered on the wrong lead. Okay, So that's okay, but you always want to stop that direction once they do it well. And with him, I have to get after him much more because he's not worried about it. He knows how to canter. He's just lazy. And he's like, why do I got to do this? Right? Okay. Don't see he trotted. No big deal. Just create more energy or you might have to tap him. Now he did it, but not very well. So um, what you usually have to do in the round pen is if it's coming uphill or um, as it's coming out of the turn, it's flat, you usually got to keep them going out of the corner, keep them coming forward. If they back off and go too slow, then sometimes they'll kind of chip in in front of the pole, take an extra step. So you're trying to create momentum, impulsion, and keep them going forward towards it. When they're going downhill, because my arena goes up and downhill, when it goes downhill, I need him to actually back off, get more on his back end, and go a little slower, because otherwise when they're trying to jump downhill, they're going to get flatter. So um, the camera turned off, which I didn't know, so we're going to try it one more time, which he's not going to be happy about. So there's a lot of things to look at as they're doing this and you need to learn because you can't teach them if you don't know or you'll teach them the wrong way. So one, what lead canter leads are. Two, is he cross cantering in the back? Because he just did that the other time. That's not what I want to end on because I don't want to teach him to cross canter. So you have to really know what their canter leads look like and you got to teach yourself that if you don't know. It takes time, but it's worth it. So you, you, know, you can't teach if you don't know. So you either have to take lessons you can have anybody teach you about canter leads. It does not have to be a gated course. Dressage, Western, English, hunter jumper, any of those can teach you. But what we're trying to do is end on a good note. When he's coming forward, when he's on the track lead, he's not cross cantering and he's actually trying. But I did it a bunch of times and I didn't know the camera was off, so he's more tired. So I'm going to accept that he did pretty well. He did better when the camera was off, but you got to do what you got to do. Okay, hope that helps some of you get your canter better.